Welcome back everybody, I'm OG and today we're carrying on with our missions to the alien monuments. Specifically, we're going to the artifact on Tylo. And this is a continuation of the series, this is the third one now. We've been to Minmus, we saw that artifact. We've been to Duna and we've seen that artifact and we established a base there and we saw some UFOs. Great video if you haven't seen it. But today we're going to Tylo. Let's start with how to find the monument. Well, it's very easy. There's a great big crater on the equator. You, you can't miss it. However, landing on it, landing on it is something else, as you shall see. For starters, don't bring a nose cone with you. This damn nose cone kept coming back every time I ejected it. Entirely my fault, I know. Just uh, don't bring nose cones. There is the artifact beneath. And this is me just doing a little flyby to see uh, what what's the situation on the ground. Unfortunately, during this flyby, I found out that Tylo has issues. Big issues. Game-breaking issues. It is actually exceedingly difficult to land near this artifact on Tylo for various reasons. The main one is that the ground is at the wrong altitude. As strange as that sounds, it's true. It is so different to the sea level, like about 25,000 meters. Then there's the issue of me when I destroy my own spacecraft. That didn't make life easier. However, I can always reload, which I did, and then I attempted more landings. Tylo doesn't have an atmosphere, so you're coming in very fast, and that makes life difficult when you've only brought a very puny little rocket engine. And that, combined with Tylo's issues, meant that I saw quite a few spacecraft die. But that wasn't all. Thanks to the Kraken, I had save file corruption. I never did manage to stop that spacecraft from spinning. So we can add that to the list of things making my life dis difficult. But then, after much trial and perseverance, I finally got a landing that looked good. Okay, I'm still pretty high up altitude wise. But this one looks like it's going right. I got excited. I could do this. But the Kraken hadn't forgotten me. My nose cone hadn't forgotten me either. Watch this. See what's happening there? The camera is moving. The spacecraft is not staying in the middle. So I'm cycling through the cameras, checking that I'm on the right one. And I am. I'm also in my landing position. I need to land now. But I can't find my spacecraft. I now have to actively work to keep my spacecraft in frame. And every time I move away from that camera, I lose the spacecraft. This is a difficult juggling act. Trying to direct a spacecraft, change between views, track the spacecraft. It's so difficult I didn't even notice Jewel in the background until I viewed this video afterwards. Even though it's so pretty. That's annoying and it's not the first time I've seen this. Um, but today it was game breaking to the point that you really can't fly like this then i turned on rcs now i've got rcs on and sas and i've got the rocket aimed retro but it's not turning to the retro direction just to make life <laughs> a little bit harder because i don't have enough things going wrong already that meant i had to try and fly it visually of what i could see but also using the nav ball. 
The nav ball is, is the best way to go in this kind of situation, but you do need those visual cues as well. Especially in a game as broken as this. There's me again trying to focus the camera onto my spacecraft. Just to hope that this thing sorts itself out so I can conduct the landing. But there you can clearly see my lack of spacecraft. And I'm only 10,000 meters above the ground and I'm doing a lot of speed. And I've also wasted a lot of time cutting the thrust a few times. I know I'm going to hit the ground. I just don't know where and when. And I'm pretty sure that I won't slow down in time. I did consider an EVA, but that wouldn't have helped anything. So that one didn't end well either. But OG doesn't give up that easily. Okay, OG. What have you got in store for us this time? All right, here we go. A nice conservative landing attempt. Bled off a lot of speed already. Still quite high. But the camera is not tracking the spacecraft. And this time, I haven't even separated the last stage from the second last stage yet. The previous time the camera went rogue was when I did that stage separation. Again, I'm cycling through the cameras, trying to get one that works. And here I start using the capture camera, which we will see more of later. But it's not ideal. It's just too much to do in this sort of situation. And you can't have a camera that loses your spacecraft every time you change camera views. I jump between the map view and the craft views a lot when I'm landing. And that just doesn't work for me. Interestingly, it didn't move so much when I sped up time. But then I stopped speeding up time and things went a bit spinny and weird. Check that altitude. I'm above 50,000 meters. Then for no reason at all, my spacecraft blows up. Because I don't have enough problems. <laughs> okay, so... Here's an old trick that us pros sometimes use. A vertical landing. It's not a great idea in most situations, but it can be done. You have to allow for a bit of rotation beneath you. But my, what shall I call that? My trajectory line is moving in a strange fashion. It shouldn't bend like a bow like that. That is not normal. It almost looks like it's got a trajectory that's going to the other side of the planet. So there's something wrong there, because Tylo is broken. Nose cone off, for a change it doesn't come back. Here I separate, and it looks like the camera is locked on to the stage, the, the lower of the two stages. But then I see that it isn't. I've still got the camera problem. Much later, in this descent, still trying to go down vertically, I'm trying to find my spaceship, which is at this moment lost. Lost in space. There's me. Somewhere there is me. Where exactly, I don't know. But somewhere there is me. I never did find me. So then, I got clever. My mission is to show you the alien artifact on Tylo. My mission is not to land on Tylo. So what if I can show you the alien artifact without landing? Yes, this is a good idea. At least I think so. So I plotted my trajectory yet again. 
and started an approach. Luckily, I had a spacecraft in the area for this. I didn't bring a spacecraft out here for this Tyler mission. I was busy exploring Bop. I was looking for the legendary Kraken that lives there. And I had been surveying Bop. Uh, I spent a long time surveying Bop, just by the way. And no, I didn't find any Kraken. I even looked inside Bop uh, when I fell through the bottom of a big crater, which apparently had no collision turned on. Anyway, that gave me a lot of much needed practice in using cameras, and you will see now why that is so valuable. Because what I do now is exactly what I did over at Bop. You head past the moon, and then you just hit pause. You switch your camera mode to capture, and then using the numpad and the arrow keys, you have a camera you can use. Now the camera is also glitchy. You use the mouse with it as well, and the mouse moves very fast and the keys move very slow. You can change the speeds, but there's no speed that suits everything. So either you have a mouse that moves way too slowly or a mouse that moves way too fast, or keys that move way too slowly or way too fast, depending on how you've set it up. However, with some practice, you can use it even though it worked a lot better on BOP than it did here. But the important thing is that there is the alien artifact of Tylo. It is once again a big creature, something that looks vaguely Kerbillion, though this is the least Kerbillion of the ones we've seen. And this guy appears to be holding two stars. I've seen speculation on the online forums that this might suggest a binary star system, which sounds like a good idea to me. So yeah, perhaps this has something to do with the colonies and opening up other systems. Something along those lines. You can see he's quite a, a large guy, but let's not fat shame the aliens. We don't discriminate here on my channel. We support all sizes. Sorry about the things that say capture and music muted and so on. Those also can't be turned off. But here's the alien artifact. I hope you like it. And very soon, if you stay tuned to this channel, you will see that I've been working on a related project. I'm very proud of what I've done so far, though I still have some way to go. I'm busy creating a 2001 A Space Odyssey Kerbal version. So watch the original so long so that you'll know what's going on. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much for watching. OG out.